Okay, what's up guys? This is going to be a tutorial how to mod your gamer tag, but with the new update, how um, it has USB support now, like the USB thumb drive, stick, whatever you guys want to call it. So if you don't have one of those, go to Walmart, buy it, $10. So once you have that um, on your dashboard, go to memory and transfer your profile onto the USB drive. Then you're going to want to download these three programs. Uh, USB X Tab GUI. Um, that's pretty much like Explorer 360 or Export. So you could view uh, the stuff that's in your USB. Easy GT to mod your gamer tag, and then Modio, just the finishing touch, rehash, and resign. So when you've got your profile on your USB, um, plug it into your computer, open up this. And it should be pretty ghetto, like that. File, open device, and then depends what's in here. I don't know. I'm just going by what mine looks like. Go into content, and you should have a whole bunch of profiles. I suggest you just put the one you want to mod in there so you don't get confused. Um, so, where is it? I don't have mine on here, but I'm just going to go with this one. 19048 blah blah blah. So you go into that, click all the way to the end, which would be this. You want to extract that to a super safe place, my desktop. Okay, so that's this right there. And then, just to double check everything worked, just go into Mario. And there you go. There's your profile from your USB. So you've done something right so far. Now let's get on to modding it. So you see, I earn no life. Just minimize all that. Open up EasyGT 2.1. Um, all the downloads will be in the description. So just download that if you don't already have it. So open up the profile you want to mod which would be this one, or that would be mine. There, you see, it pops up, mod it to whatever you want. Um, I usually put a one on here, but since I already did that, I'll put a two. Save it to wherever you want. I'm saving it to my desktop. So, there it is, right there. Now you're going to want to put this back into your USB after you rehash and resigned it. So, open up all the folders until you get to this, the modded one. Put it in there. There you go, Kool-Aid. You just click rehash and resign a couple of times. Minimize that. <coughs> no. Okay, so back to putting it into USB. Um, if you guys didn't know already, those like three dots down here, that's pretty much like to go back a, a file, I guess. You know, like the back button. So I always just go back to content. It's easier to do it like that. So you go into content, don't click anything. And, and then just press inject folder. And find the modded folder, which I clicked two, so it would end in two. You just do that, and it selects the whole folder. And then just give it maybe like five seconds for it to load on your USB. And for some reason, it's still loading. Okay. So you guys can see it's on there. And then. Uh, since my HD PVR broke, I can't record me doing it, so I'm just going to tell you guys. Plug your USB back into your Xbox, load up Modern Warfare 2, um, stay signed in with your original profile, and then when you're on the menu to click split screen, Xbox Live, system link, sign out, sign into your modded account, it would show up a, a 
a thing to pick your avatar, just press the middle button, or the guide button, then press Xbox Live again, it'll say you need to sign in, sign in to your uh, non-modded main account that you wanted to mod the gamer tag for, and then it'll let you in, it'll sign you in, it'll take a while to load, but that's just the part of it, and uh, you have a modded gamer tag. So I hope this helped, favorite, like, I hate the like thing, rate 5 stars. Um, so yeah, and uh, check out the Tiaz website, tiazmods.com, and that's about it, um, if you have any other tutorials you want me to make, just uh, send me a PM, and that's about it.